There's a touch of the knee. Dennis Allen will not burn the timeout. And Atlanta will win. The Falcons snap a three-game skid. They go to five and six, but more importantly, three and oh in the NFC South. What was the mindset of the offensive attack? Take the game over. Tyler hit the cutback, first down and more. Patterson, ba boom, ba boom. Look how fired up he is. And that is how much he loves the physicality. He runs people over, he makes house calls. The Falcons intercepted Jesse Bates. He's got green grass. Stride it out, Jesse. Touchdown, Atlanta. Being the Saints, you know, was always tremendous. Knowing the Atlanta culture, that rivalry between the Saints and the Falcons. So anytime you get a, a division win like that, you know, it's always great. Bajan at the five, bounces, end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Just being everyone having the energy and passion to come up here every single day, go to work and get better. Um, you know, that's something that we got to keep up and keep that energy going. So we talked about Falcons now on top of the NFC South. Worry about the here and now. That's how you remain in control of the NFC South. The moment that you or anybody else starts looking at the schedule and seeing which games are wins, that's when you lose. Coming off a um, great team win, you know, we're just looking to, to keep it going with the energy and the passion that everyone played with on Sunday. You know, at the end of the game, we got to find a way to win back-to-back -back games. Uh, some that we haven't done since the first two weeks. They have to go on the road to the New York Jets, and their job offensively is to win first down. That's it. Like, all you got to do is win the first down, and then you got to win the first drive, and then you win the first quarter. State of the Jets team that we were going up against, you know, we knew that was going to try to come out and you know, play their hardest because they're trying to get back on track. Also, we knew we had to go out there and play our best game because it was a stepping stone for us to get them to our, where we want to be, which is first place in the division and try to you know, get where we want to be at the end of the season. You can't affect or change the outcome of anyone else's games in your division. Uh, you can only control what you can control, and that's your game every Sunday. Game time, two minutes after 1 o'clock Eastern time here at MetLife Stadium. It is a dreary day. There's no two ways getting around that. Overcast, rain. But at the end of the day, you know, it was more so the rain than it was the cold. Uh, the weather was way warmer than we expected it to be. Anytime you play in the rain, be cautious and slippery. Make sure your cleats working. And also just making sure your clothes stay dry. In the Meadowlands of New Jersey, Jets are out in green jerseys and white pants. Falcons are in the road white. I think a lot of folks have stayed in the borough of Manhattan and points east, if you will. It is 50 degrees. It says it feels like 48. It looks like it's about 36. But nonetheless, the Falcons and Jets are here in New York. There's one more. job today. There's one job today. Yeah, yeah. Hit Second down and 10, ball at the Falcon 41. No score with 3.54 to play first period. At Hall as the running back. And look out, Bud Dupree takes him down behind the line and does a little shuffle step. Here's Boyle now, third and 12. Buying time in trouble. Dupree got him. And 48 makes two terrific plays in a row for Atlanta. D. Offord stands at the 10. But Offord going to run up here and see if it hits. It will. It'll check and they save it. New York downs it at the one. Tremendous special teams play. Second and nine back at the two. Here's the give to Robinson. That's a safety. He got right. knocked down in the backfield. Quentin right. Williams. It's a safety for New York to take the lead two to nothing. That's a game that right now reflects the weather. Kind of dreary and sloppy. It's Boyle. A little trap and this is Cook trying to slide to the left. And Phillips will hit him. The ball's out and Alfred's got it. Fumble recovery on the hit. Got a hand to Tyler. He will fire straight ahead. It's a first down. Pressure on Ritter. He's got a sidearm. And oh, across oh the field. Good. And what a catch by Pitts. And what a throw by Ritter. Play fake by Ritter. Loads, throws for Michael Pruitt. He held on. Touchdown, Atlanta. Holy smokes. All he does is catch touchdowns. All really. he does is catch touchdowns. <laughs> First and 10 to 39. Play fake. No, a little flea flicker. Back for Boyle. Hits he throws. Taking the deep shot for Gibson, who hangs on. They're going to hand Brees Hall the ball. Trying to get to the perimeter, and he will be taken down. Phillips swings him out of bounds near the 21-yard line. And the kick is up, and it is good for Zerline. Falcons 7, Jets 5. Ritter looking, going to shoot it to Robinson. Bajan gets out of bounds. 12 seconds left. It's first and goal at the eight. So here's Young Way Koo. This is 22 yards. The Koo kick is good, and that is the final play of the half.
Rain's supposed to stop in about a half hour. Temperatures dropped a couple of degrees, though, for sure. Boyle from the near hash. Going to loop it out on the far side. Garrett Wilson wide open. And he's in Atlanta territory on a 30-yard throw on the first play. Going to take the deep shot throw, and it is caught. Garrett Wilson, is that a first down? Robert Sala's going to be there to litigate. They're having a discussion. I'm not sure. Called a catch at the 12. Don't think he got the other foot down. You're going to challenge it. You That's need to challenge Arthur it. Arthur okay, Smith's it already thrown the flag. So Garrett Wilson did, in fact, only get one foot down, Dave. 46-yard field goal. Snap, spot, kick from Zerline is away, and it is good. Ritter's got to cut it loose, does. Robinson the catch. Far side, first down, shoved out at the 40-yard line. Give us to Robinson. Here goes Bajan, 50, 48-yard line of New York. That's a 12-yard run. Here's a ball thrown for Pitts, who makes an incredible catch. Well-thrown ball by Ritter, where only Kyle Pitts could reel it in. On the far hash, snap spot from Penyon. Coos kick is away, and it is good. That is now for Young Way Koo, 18 straight. The game plan we had was just for us to really just fire out the ball and being able to come out the ball, play fast and play physical. A lot of times, you know, when, you, when you're playing scheme ball and you get a chance to just, you know, really just let your hair back, man, it, it's always fun. We knew the tendencies that they had and we knew we had to set the edges firm to make sure we win the game. We just did just that, coming out the ball full speed is like what we love to do. Boyle wants to hang one up for Garrett Wilson and it's picked. Jesse Bates has got another one. Fifth interception of the year for Jesse Bates, and like last week, he read it from center field. Well, it's not giving up touchdowns, you know, after the bye. You know, it's a tremendous hats off to, you know, playing the scheme. Each and every player going out there with a will and a mindset that we won't let anybody, you know, run the ball on us, but as well throw the ball on us, too. You might be bigger than us, but you might be stronger than us, but you're never going to be tougher than us. So we try to keep that mindset and keep going. Falcons have now beaten the Jets three straight times, headed home for a critical division game against Tampa. Stacking wins is the most important part of the of football organization, especially this time in the season. It's playoff football each and every week. The end of the season is when you got to turn it up another notch. How does Atlanta get that third straight victory of the season? Make sure they're one-dimensional. Make Mike Evans make the plays. Make them make the plays in the passing. Don't let them have a two-way go in the run game. You know, Baker Mayfield, man, being Baker Mayfield again, you know, he's one of those guys who you always got to be account for. You know, you get him going, he will make you pay. It's going to be a tough challenge for us, and we got to go out here with our mindsets made up that we want to be the most physical team but also the better team in the state. Well, I mean, it's the second time around, so they're going to have some, some stuff up their sleeve, you know what I mean? It's always hard to beat a team twice. Um, they'll be well prepared. So we have to be ready to play at a high level on Sunday. At the end of the year, the teams that can surge and make the playoffs or achieve their goals are teams with the arrow pointing up. That arrow is pointed up, and they have to keep it pointing up. It's a home game. I think it would be monumental for them to win three in a row. Now they have to go prove it. You know, all that matters is this week. It's, we got to win this game. It's Falcons are in all black, white letters and numerals. All of a sudden, this is a high stakes game in the Ooh. NFC South today. Start fast. Me and Because it gives you opportunity to to solidify yourself in the playoffs. These are guys you're seeing twice a year. You're trying everything you can, everything in your will, to just go out there and beat them and be that opposing team that. Everybody thinks you are. Atlanta, one of three teams in the NFC that's undefeated in division play coming into today. Atlanta's won their last two. They're four and two at home. Tampa has split their last four. They've lost their last four road games. And the 82nd start of Baker Mayfield's career featuring 36 wins. They're going to try White on first down. And Tampa gets five, almost six on first down. Field from under center. Play fake to White, looking for Evans left, now going to check it through, and this is Moore on the catch, and David Moore has the first down. Yep. Clock winding down, in the pocket, in trouble, broke away from one, here's Mayfield using his feet, he won't get there, Richie Grant going to sling him back at the 37-yard line. Kick from McLaughlin from 55 is good. So Tampa is on the board first. The score at Mercedes-Benz Stadium is the Bucks three and the Falcons nothing. And you, and you almost feel like this is really important drive. It, uh, Tampa got a little footing there against our really good defense. It'll be important for Desmond to do the same thing here. Third down, Ritter shoots it across. London the catch, first down Atlanta. 
and pulled out of bounds on the far side by Carlton Davis at the Tampa 32. If you have a good QB and a good, good wide receiver who are on the same page, it could be pretty lethal because they can make stuff happen that's not supposed to happen. Desmond's going to step up and now he's going to run with it, trying to get to the far side, gets the first down, diving to the 20-yard line ahead of Levante Davis' tackle. 20-yard field goal try, Young Way Koo ties it up. 19 in a row now for Koo, and Atlanta's on the board with 129 to play. One thing about AJ, he never turns nothing down. He's never going to be scared to hit anybody no matter what side. You know how fast you run or where you at, AJ going to crash out every time. And here's Mayfield on inside Ranford. Evans and Terrell wasn't having it. Slapped it right out of there before it got to Mike Evans. What? Here at Mercedes-Benz, final half minute of period number one. Quick throw on the perimeter, intercepted. First down for Tampa. So the turnover comes with 20 seconds to go. Field tried to keep it, and he leans into the end zone for the Tampa touchdown. Baker Mayfield, the keeper, and he gets his seventh career rushing score now. Tampa on the board on the first snap of the second quarter on the Mayfield run. Here goes Robinson, hurdles one man, dropped the shoulder on the other to the 42. That's the best nine and a half yard run you're gonna see in the league today. Play fake by Ritter, Desmond long throw, London's there, caught first down in Tampa territory. Five is becoming the money guy here now, he's working everybody. Ritter taking a shot near side, it's caught! Touchdown, Kyle Pitts! Just a dazzling pass from Ritter as the Falcons punch back. Pitts came down the sideline and Des put it up in the perfect area. Pitt was all by himself and he goes and tumbles in the end zone. And that was really, really cool because, I mean, he's one of those players who deserves it, you know? Um, to see him back in the paint was, was really cool for all of us, honestly. Current state of the NFC South is the old crabs in a bucket, week to week. So it's a free for all. It's going to come down to week 18 like much of the NFL is. Strong side, and that goes nowhere. Oh, my Bates. goodness. Bates. Jesse Let's go. Bates, the third. Let's go. Just two, just two, two, just two. Field goal try for Koo is 50 yards. Snap spot. Try from Koo is away, and it is no good. The streak is over, and Koo misses for just the second time this year. It hit the right upright. For him to, to go out there and miss two field goals, that's beyond uncharacteristic of him. Like, we all knew that, and he's human at the end of the day. It's gonna happen. MJ has missed game winners. Kobe, all of them have missed game winners, and those are the top of the top, and Ku is the top of the top in his position. So that's our guy, and he's gonna keep on doing his thing, and I know that he's gonna come back better than ever, probably gonna be 100% from now on. And here is Ritter to throw, and hit as he does, the ball is out and recovered in the end zone, and it's a safety. Limited offensively, Atlanta's done a really good job on defense, but it's been the, the two turnovers created, as you mentioned, nine points. Mayfield dumps it to White, he's got room with blockers in front, he's got the first down, he's got the touchdown. Rashad White goes 31 yards for the Buccaneers with 4.06 to play in the third. It was just a play that we, we put the ball in Bijan's hands and he follows his blocker and then go be the special talent that he is, you know. Quarter four. Third down and five for Atlanta at Tampa's 37, trailing 19 to 10. Here is Robinson on a pass, and Bichon turns the corner, keeps his feet, 10, five, down at the two, and seven almost housed it. And I just remember after that play, I was just telling him that he's a dog. The blow by by number seven. Ritter, hand straight ahead, Robinson, touchdown Atlanta. Oh, six plays, 67 yards, and 252. Atlanta needed that one. McLaughlin's 38-yard field goal makes it 22-17. That goes back to Dez having trust in me and just kind of just throwing it up there, you know? From the pocket, steps up, deep shot for London. He makes the catch! Oh, my God! Are you kidding me? What an unbelievable catch by London. And London undercuts the safety here, goes up the ladder and pulls it down. What a catch by Drake London. That is insane. Sometimes those are my favorite plays because I could kind of go out there and, and just go attack the ball from wherever it's at. The type of leader Dez is, is he's going to, he's going to try to lead by example and also lead with his words. Every time he gets in the fourth quarter, he, he just got this look on his face that we're about to get this done. And we all do too, so. Ritter going to keep it going around the edge. Shinko Tryon couldn't hang on. And Desmond's in the end 
zone. Oh, my goodness. And so we go out there and try our best to make it happen. Ritter from the pocket throws wide open London. Two-point play to Drake London. Now Atlanta's got a three-point lead with 3.23 to play. Mayfield with a free play. He's going to take the deep shot and got oh, broken up by Phillips. Throw him. Baker on a drop, looking. Home run throw across the middle, incomplete. Caught, Godwin breaks free, and it's inside the 15 now. Snap to Mayfield, looks left, looping for the end zone, and it is caught. Kate Auten, touchdown. My say is go out there and score. I know the ball's about to be in the air. We know that the, the ball's in our hands at the end of the game, and we're going to go out there and try to make the best of it and try to go out there and score. So I think that's my mentality. I'm pretty sure that's everybody else's mentality as well. And that's when Dez gets into his mode of like, let's go win. And that's when the winner comes out. Tampa has one timeout, 29-25 game with 31 seconds left. And now with 31 seconds left, Atlanta has two timeouts and needs a touchdown. He'll roll to his right, 28 seconds left. Ritter going to throw it back in the middle of the field. That's Jonu Smith at the 33. Timeout Atlanta with 22 seconds left. Ritter from the pocket, middle of the field. That's caught, and that is Drake London. Quick throw, this is Pitts. Down at the gotta 30, hurry. and Atlanta's got to really hurry. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Wow. Spikes with 4. Here's Ritter. Throws, end zone, London the catch, and he got knocked down at the five, and the ball game is over. But Drake London knocked down four yards from the end zone, and Tampa wins. 29-25, what a last six minutes we saw here. I'm, I wouldn't call this a misstep. I would call it a missed opportunity. So, But I say it's a missed opportunity because they could have gone up two games on the Buccaneers. They could have given themselves a little bit of breath but more than anything, they could have said, we can do this. Now they're like, okay, now we have to fight to do this. Now they still control their own destiny, so to speak. Now it's like, okay, now we have to do this just to level up because they had some strong performances that what Drake London did, some of the things that they did on defense. Desmond Ritter, again, made some really strong plays. Kyle Pitts, John Robinson, Tyler Algier, offensive line guy shuffling in and out and standing up. You can't look no farther. You just gotta be in the moment, understand what's at stake right now, and go out there and give it our best and, and play our brand of football. Because when we do play our brand of football and we click, this team is, is pretty special. These last four games is gonna be, you know, super important, super vital. You know, we're, we're trying to win every single one of them. No matter whether it's going good, whether it's going bad, we're gonna go to work and prepare like we're a championship team. Um, that's the mindset. All we're gonna do is keep going back to work and getting better. We didn't get it done today, but uh, you know, we're like, Spears not broken. We do have opportunities. This thing is going to, it'll be a wild adventure towards the end of the NFL season. Yeah, we're going to keep our head high. We're going to focus. You know, we're going to figure out how to be better going forward. There's a lot of things we're going to clean up, a lot of things that we're going to learn from and get better from um, and come out this better in the back end.